Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do dual monitor capturing in OBS. Now, this is OBS Studio and this is an updated tutorial. I've had a lot of people asking me, hey, how do you do the dual monitor capture in OBS Studio or multi-platform as it used to be known? It's very easy to do. It's a lot easier to do than it was in the original OBS. That's why I haven't made a tutorial yet. Uh, so let's get into it, and instead of having to manipulate all of this stuff like you used to, you can capture different monitors extremely easily with OBS Studio. So, uh, as you can see here, okay, I have my cam up, and what I'm going to do is hit Add Display Capture. And we're going to name this Mon1, okay? I'm going to pick my left monitor, and there we go. So now I'm just going to take um, my cam and pull it up here. Now, uh, display capture, Mon2. And this is actually monitor 2. So we're going to pull it down here. Now, uh, what you want to do is go... Right click on the source, go to transform, edit transform, and you see the size. It says 1400 by 900. Now, if this says 720 by or 1280 by 720, you need to get your measurements for that. So, if it says 1920 by 1080, you need to get your measurements for that. Uh, you want to have your measurements if you want to have them equal going across the screen. So for this, it's going to be 720 by 450. And that's that. Uh, you don't have to do anything else with that one. Now you can come right here, and we're going to go back in here, transform, edit transform, uh, positional alignment, let's say top right. And then what we're going to do is pull it right here. And now we're going to, oops, 720 by 450. Now by putting top right and then pulling it over here, you're actually pulling it where you want the thing to be. So it's just that easy. You have it here. Now, say I want it to do this without doing all of that. You just can simply come in here. Uh, transform, edit, transform, put in your half measurements, and then it might be up under it, but it's still selected. As long as it's selected, you can drag it. Um, you can drag it anywhere you want it. Let me show you something else, too. So I'm going to actually, so I don't have to do that again, I'm going to copy the transform of this one right now. So let's say I actually want this one on top. Of this one just a little bit uh, you can see what my my monitoring monitor basically is over here this is my technical monitor basically and when I'm streaming and this is what it looks like so that's why I wanted this up uh, now this I can stretch out if I want uh, so, hey what's up this 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 that 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 uh, it's, it's pretty easy. So you can also go in here and put your background in. Just select image. I'm going to select one I've already done. Uh, for this, I'm going to stretch, which if you want to stretch, it's transform and uh, stretch to screen. Stretch to screen. Control S. Uh, if you fit it to screen, it might look a little bit different. Let's see here. Fitting to screen, you see, gives you black bars. That keeps it in the same aspect ratio. So stretch it to the screen if you want to. Now, what I'm going to do is actually take monitor 2, and I'm going to paste my old transform back to it to put it back up there. I'm going to take background, okay? And I'm also going to add... Uh, let's add a window capture. Now, pretend that these are all, um, just, okay, pretend they're all monitor captures. And 
what I'm going to do is I want this here. This, I want where it's at. Uh, let's take, okay, and let's say background. This would be monitor three. Let's transform it. Uh, edit, transform, and you see it says bound box size. This is because we have already transformed it at one time. Now, what you want to do, uh, you see up here it says it's 1920 by 1080. What you want to do is you either reset the transform, and I'll show you how to do it both ways. You can go to bound box size and change that if you want to, and hit close, and you can pull it down to where you want it. Now, let's go back up there and go in the transform on that same thing again, and we're going to reset transform. Now, what this does is it makes it big again, okay? That's completely fine. So right-click on it, go to Transform, oops, go to Edit Transform, and now you see that the bounding box is not down here at all. None of that stuff is here because you reset that transform. So you go to this one, and you're going to put in the measurements that will work for your captured uh, the monitor that you are capturing on and it's just that easy now this one uh, Let's put it down here on the right. I'm going to transform it Edit transform you see there's nothing. It's not bound or anything like that uh, What we're going to go on and do is say Just for this one bottom right We're going to go ahead and pull it back down there and now we're going to put in those same measurements like so, and we have four things up here going at one time. You can do this for a video. You could do this for a, uh, a feed or whatever you want it to do, basically. So, that's that. It's very easy to do, and that's all for now. See you later.